Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Easy SAP ABAP. Today I'm going to show you how to use the ABAP development tools, commonly referred to as ADT, which is ABAP and Eclipse. So to start with, we're just going to open up Eclipse. In a previous video, actually the very last video I did, I showed everybody how to install the ABAP development tools in the Eclipse IDE, actually how to set up the Eclipse IDE itself as well, and get logged on to the system and I showed you some basic navigation. On today's video, we're going to show you how to create a report. Actually, I'm going to create a package. We'll create a package and a report and how to transport those from within ADT. So, we see here we had our ABAP project. That, I'll make this uh, full screen now that Eclipse is opened. We had our project here. If I try and expand this, it's going to ask me to log on. So, I'll enter my password and log on to the SAP system. Now we can see the system library in our favorite packages. I'm going to go to system library. This is all the packages in our SAP system. As this is a test system, it's not very expansive. Typically, there'd be a whole lot more. And say, for example, a SAP IDES system or an actual productive system. I'm going to come here to system library, right click, go to new, and then ABAP package. So now I can give it a name. I'll call it Z. Let's just call it Z test underscore ADT test of ABAP development tools um, package type we could say main structure or development I'll say it's a development package and I'll add it to my favorite packages so it's going to go through it's going to do the process of creating the actual package see it's just loading down here we have a progress bar at the bottom so it's going to fetch some transport info so of course creating a package it's going to want us to create a transport for it not responding just give it a minute to do its thing uh, software component I can do browse and we'll just say home application component we could actually select an application component if we have one but this isn't mandatory and then we could assign it to a transport layer so my, I have one transport layer SAP you might have a transport layer called Z whatever but that transport layer is essentially what's gonna say you know, when this transport leaves this system, it needs to go to the system next. And we can see here we're going to be prompted, you know, to choose a transport request. I have one out there already where I created another package. I'm not going to choose that one. I'm going to create a new request and I'm going to say create package C test underscore ADT. So this is creating a new transport request for us. Like I say, if we had one out there already, we could pick it here, or we can enter a request number if we know our request number. So, the check for transport request, we're all good. Click on finish. And now what we'll see once this finishes, over here, we see our package. We see all the details about it. I'm going to X out right here. And then I'm going to scroll down. I guess this didn't ref fresh for me or did it I mean, I just not see it it didn't refresh so let's go to system library and click refresh and I see our package Z test ADT I think I said add it to favorite packages too so yet yeah, we see it under favorite packages if I expand the tree here I see nothing underneath it so under this package I can create a class an interface I can say other repo uh, repository object I can say, let's see, where is it? Source code library. I can say I want an ABAP program. So now I'll say the name of this program is going to be Z test ADT. Same thing as the um, package. I'll just give it the same name. I'll say test program for Z test underscore ADT. And now, what I'll do is we'll assign it that same transport request and say finish. And this is just going to be a trivial program. I'm just going to say write hello world or something like that. And I'll show you guys how to go ahead and release the transport and uh, get ready to move it to another system. So here's my report. We'll just come in here and say write hello world if we can spell 
And now what I can do, I can click this right here, check. This is the same thing as if we were to do check in the ABAP editor within the SAP GUI. We'll see a, down here a status at the bottom left of the screen that says that it contains no errors. We can activate this. So this activate is going to go ahead and activate the report. And we can run it. I'll run it as an ABAP application. I'm not seeing any output. Did I not activate it? thought I did. Let's run it again. I guess it's waiting there. That, that must be what the clock is. I just restarted. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just taking some time. I just rebooted my SAP system, so it's going to be a little slow while everything compiles. And we see our output. Hello world. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the SAP GUI and show you guys. Let's see. Show everybody what it looks like from an SAP GUI standpoint. So we created a package. We, again, we could go to SE80 and look at our package. That's probably going to take a minute to compile, actually. We'll create another window here. And what we'll do is, let's go well, actually, since this is loaded, ztest underscore ADT. We see our package. We see our program. We double click on it, the source code as we wrote and ADT is there. We can go to transaction SE10 which is our transport organizer and we can see we have our transport request. We can expand it, see that we have our package and our program and our transport request. So all this is handled by ADT just like uh, the GUI would do it. Oops, just trying to exit out of this. And now how do we get to our transport organizer, right? So I can go to Window, I can go to Perspective, Open Perspective, go to Other, and say ABAP. I guess I'm already in the ABAP Perspective. So I can go over here to the left, click on Transport Organizer, open up our system. And that's taking just a second to run. I see a modifiable changes. I got two transport requests. I really wish uh, ADT would have another column out here that would show the description, but it does not. So I've just double clicked on our transport request now. It's taking some time to load again because I just rebooted my system. But what this is going to do, it's going to show us our transport request. And then from ADT, what we can actually do is we can release this transport request to be imported into any other SAP system that follows this transport layer. So this is really taking a little while here. Let's pause the video for just a second. <laughs> 